Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm so excited to bring you my full color routine from highlight slash balayage to base color and root smudge and toner. And with this video, I'm kicking it back old school in homage to one of my viral videos that's gotten over 5 million views. We're basically doing that, but the more modernized, basically the 2024 version of that video. So let's start with the first step. I'm gonna be using K18's Prepping Mist to prep the hair for this lightening session. Think of it as like what a heat protectant is to your hot tools. This is that protectant for that lightener, yet it never dilutes your lightening power. And again, with this process, I'm not really looking to lighten more than I am, especially at my ends. I'm going to be avoiding that through this whole session. And for the lightener, I am using 40 volume with this cool based lightener. I love, love, love this lightener, but only when going over dark hair. And it's more about lightening my root or zone ones and two of my hair so that it has a more fluid lightening effect from root to ends. Adding a mixture of baby lights and highlights. I'll do one row of baby lights, a row of teasy lights, which is where you tease the roots. I'm even going to show you how to highlight with this comb here. It has been requested on my channel and I will show you with one or two foils how, how I use this comb. And so for the highlighting comb, you basically want to start off with a thin section and then just pull the comb bristles through. If you look at it sideways, you will see that it separates about 50% of the hair slightly up. It keeps another section slightly below that. So it's easiest to go with your finger between those two sections to separate them out and keeping that top section pinned between your fingers and then placing a foil underneath that. I always still like to double check if there's an area that is looking a little heavy. I will simply pick it out with the tail end of this comb. So once I finish applying foils on this side, I do the exact same thing on the other side, but while leaving that mohawk section for last. And the reason for that is these hairs typically will come from smaller follicles, meaning that these hairs will just lighten easier. Once I've applied all the foils, I wait about 25 to 30 minutes before I apply my root color. And today I'm going to be using a L'Oreal color. I love this color line. I'm going in with a level six. This is in a blue tone color. I'm also mixing with the 20 volume developer. So then I let that base color process for about 25 minutes. Once that's all processed, I shampoo and condition and I'm ready to do a root smudge and toner. For the root smudge, I used a mixture of 5N and 7NB, and I apply this just in a feathery motion at the roots without coming down too far. Then for my all-over toner, I used a mixture of 10P, 9P, and 7NB. Once my root smudge is applied, I can go ahead and apply my all-over toner just below that root smudge. So the question I get all the time, do I have to shampoo after I applied my root smudge? Absolutely not. You're able to apply your all over toner and time your toner rather than timing your root smudge. Your root smudge, you kind of always want to process that full time. With toner, I'm a little bit more lenient depending on how much you want to really effectively tone. So I start applying my toner from that root smudge down. I definitely start in the back first because I do want a little bit of an shadow in the back. I want the back just to be slightly darker than the front. And I do leave the too many pieces out and only apply toner to that area in the last five minutes. And once it's all processed, I shampoo and condition. All right, and here are the results. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, as you can see, my hair feels silky, soft, uh, super manageable. I feel like that first blowout, you can always tell how, how strong your hair actually feels. But again, I think one of the main things to think about is to never really go over the hair that's been previously lightened unless you are actually trying to go lighter than your existing light hair already is. But if you're doing that, you absolutely need to do that with a different developer. So you would never just take the same formula you used to lighten your darkest hair to go over and lighten previously lightened hair. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. So nice to bring you a video that just brings me so much joy to, to make, to put together, and of course to share with you. And yeah, if you have any questions with your lightening or coloring process, leave them down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.